Hello friends, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix your Rhino software where it has been lagging a lot even when you just start it, it starts lagging and also the same for Grasshopper, how you can fix the lag in both of these. I'm using Rhino Service 7 software at the moment but up to you, uh, you can use the same technique even in 5 or 6 or even the previous versions. So uh, the first thing I would do is start Grasshopper, just type in Grasshopper and I'll load the plugin, I'll show you what has to be done within Grasshopper, then we'll come back to the main Rhino interface and I'll show you what has to be done to Rhino. So we'll expand this, the first thing you need to do is go to preferences, then uh, how you can go to preferences, I'll do that again, you go to fly a file then click on prefer preferences and then you go to files if this is enabled autosave then you have to uncheck this box this first box and make it disabled so when you check it it becomes enabled and when you uncheck it it becomes disabled so once you have done that you need to close this uh, it gets saved and then you can start with uh, adding whatever uh, whatever specific uh, commands which you want and you can see they won't lag you can do anything with it now we'll go back to rhino if this is lagging then what you need to do is again you could either either uh, type options or you could uh, go to the standard tab here and click on this corkscrew and you do that one of these windows will open you need to come down from the document properties to the rhino options within rhino options you need to go to view and then click on open gl once you have done that you can disable gpu tessellation normally it is enabled you need to disable it and then uh, you need to make anti aliasing option to none sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong but uh, this first option you need to set it to none and this gpu tessellation should be off and this level of opengl software driver should be zero once you have done that all you need to do is save this it will normally ask you to restart it and once it restarts you have a properly functioning rhino interface I hope this video helps you out, if this has helped you out, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel and until next time, I am Saikab Kosh and I am signing off.